T-Rex versus Spinosaurus. Both the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus are some of the most popular prehistoric animals to ever walk the earth. However, if these two animals faced each other in ancient times, who would have emerged the victor? Welcome to Five Things, and today we'll be presenting you with one of the most expected matchups we've received from you, that of T-Rex versus the Spinosaurus. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more videos like this one. Without further ado, let's begin. So what are the main advantages of the T-Rex in a fight? Let's begin by talking about the T-Rex's physical characteristics before doing the same with the Spinosaurus. The T-Rex is one of the most well-represented dinosaurs of all. It lived throughout western North America on an island continent that was then known as Laramidia. It was very well spread when compared to other dinosaurs, with its fossils being found in a wide variety of rock formations that date to the Maastrichtian age of the Upper Crustaceous period, 68 to 66 million years ago. It was the last of the non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event. There's been an abundance of fossil material that's allowed great research into many aspects of the T-Rex's biology, including its life history and biomechanics. The T-Rex measured up to 43 feet long and weighed as much as 7.5 tons, with it often being used in films precisely due to its large and intimidating overall image. It was a bipedal dinosaur, meaning that it walked on two legs. They were strong enough to carry its weight without any problem, while its arms are notoriously small. However, despite being so minuscule when compared to the rest of its body, it's thought that they were very strong in order to hold on to its prey. Another interesting fact of the T-Rex is its massive skull and large teeth with T-Rex skulls having been found as long as 5 feet. The T-Rex specimens can be found in the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, another at the Black Hills Museum of Natural History exhibit in Hill City, and another in the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Because there are many complete skeletons of the T-Rex in our collection, scientists have been able to develop accurate models of how the T-Rex fared in the wild and engaged with possible prey. It's also important to note that there's been an incidence of soft tissue and proteins reported in at least one of these specimens. It's widely believed to be a carnivore, but the truth is that the T-Rex was most likely a scavenger. This last bit of information is a heated point of debate between paleontologists and scientists precisely because there's no certainty that it was one or the other. The first thing the T-Rex is known for, as we could see, is its extremely robust and muscular build. It had large, thick bones, which translate into large, powerful muscles. The T-Rex's bone structure is much stockier and much more robust than Spinosaurus, which means that the T-Rex would have weighed even more, despite these two animals being more or less similar in size. T-Rex teeth are large, to say the least, on top of being almost completely solid and thick with long roots. This means that the T-Rex had a colossal bite force. Many fossils of Enmontosaurus and Triceratops keep showing damage from T-Rex teeth, and in many cases have T-Rex teeth embedded in the bones that then healed over.
The T-Rex might not have been a speedrunner, but it had an ungodly amount of agility for its size. Scientists have suggested an upper limit of 20 miles per hour for the T-Rex, meaning it was very fast for its size. It's also believed that the T-Rex had a visual acuity level higher than even modern day hawks, taking into account that a hawk has an acuity level of around 20 to 2, which is much better than human eyesight, and the chance of a Spinosaur to defeat the T-Rex became slimmer by the second. The T-Rex is a well-rounded dinosaur suited for destroying almost any kind of animal that dared face its wrath. It's a large and powerful animal with great vision, a fantastic sense of smell, heavy weight and mighty, strong bite, and was also able to take on game larger and stronger than it. Meanwhile, most would think that the Spinosaurus looks a bit goofy without cartoons have portrayed them to us during the years. However, after several years of studying and collecting fossils of these animals, the Spinosaurus had an average length of 15 to 16 meters and weighed roughly 6.4 to 7.5 tons, while also standing at a height of 4 to 6 meters. It ate primarily large fish, living along the North African coast based on the fossils found in Kemkem and the Baharaya formations 112 to 93.5 million years ago. While T-Rex is undoubtedly more popular, the Spinosaurus is one of the most popular dinosaur species in the world. It was also as large or even larger than the T-Rex. Its skull was long, low, and narrow, similar to crocodile skulls today. Its teeth were straight, conical, and featured no serrations. Scientists aren't still completely sure what was the purpose of some of its body parts, such as the sail. The problem with the Spinosaurus is that the ones we have in our mind are based on previous models of Spinosaurus popularized in movies like Jurassic Park, which do not portray the Spinosaurus as a more aquatic animal with a bite more suited to quickly snap fish from underwater. The tooth of the Spinosaurus is not one that looks like it was well suited for chomping down and overpowering large game. It is, however, perfectly suited for catching large fish like Onchopristus. In fact, such fictional encounters have been so desired by fans of dinosaurs that a scene featuring both a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex was presented during Jurassic Park 3. The scene is one of the most infamous Jurassic Park scenes because the Spinosaurus won the fight. Truthfully, the Spinosaurus was better for quickly eating animals underwater than actually facing bigger ones like T-Rex. Based on recent scientific research only, the Spinosaurus would have fared terribly against the T-Rex. A T-Rex would almost instantly have destroyed it because it's not suited for ground fights and its physical traits are no match for the T-Rex's immense strength, speed, and sheer viciousness. It's important to note, however, that an encounter of these two beasts would have been completely impossible in real life because both of them lived in different times. But in a hypothetical world, what are your thoughts on the results of this matchup? Who would win in your opinion, the T-Rex or Spinosaurus? Make sure to let us know in the comments. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for more.